Well, we've gone straight for the processed meat pate stuff. And we appear to like the uh, potato stew. So oh, Tom, um, we appear to have gone ration pack crazy this Well, I, after our last delightful yeah. dinner, I decided to go and get us some extra ration packs. So I've yeah. got an, an Italian, a Russian, a Polish. I've got an MRE, but we're not going to eat yeah. that today because I'm going to go and eat that when the next time we're out playing a, a, an open day. So we're going to do one of these at random, So we're going to we? do ration pack roulette. I would like you to pick a number from <laughs> one to three. I'm going to say... One. Russian. Hey. hey. Italian, the size of this bad boy. <laughs> That's like a, that would barely get in a day sack. It's a hefty box. It's actually like someone's done some designing or something. Yeah. Now, I have had one of these, but it was a while ago, and I'm not, I think it was a slightly different type. Viewers, what the box looks like. Now, Gadge does have some Cyrillic. I can literally read the fact. I think it says uh, it says military on one side and army ration on the we other. We might be into a mystery yeah, meat scenario. I think we're gonna be, there'll be a lot of guesswork here. <laughs> Wait, do you see how if there's any way of getting into that? Okay, uh, it looks like it's a kind of just break open at the top thing, I thought. Okay. It's seals. It's foil seal by the things as well. So it's, a, it's not just cardboard. It's not just cardboard box. Actually, if you look inside there, it's foil it's, it's a foil seal. So again, let's show the... Pretty good, actually. Foil sealed, so it should be fairly fairly secure yeah. and it looks like we've got a cardboard and a pull out cardboard box inside there as well. Uh, Gadget if you want to okay, show the honours. Uh, I think this might be upside down Tom, hang on, I'll turn it right around. Well, that's, the, gonna, that, that, that's the, it's gonna spill that's everywhere the side towards the front. There we go, right. And again, as we said, that's fully fully sealed in there. Right. It's fully lined anyway, so a bit of weatherproof. So, shall we start? Right, let's, okay, so so let's just then. show the people what we get inside. So this is how it came to us, completely fresh. And, right. Okay, this is gonna be total guesswork. So they're obviously your biscuity crackers, aren't they? Right, and we get uh, one. Oh, we've got different colored ones. Can you can you just discern the difference? Let, let me have them? a look, let's have a look. So that says, whoa, sorry. That's a G-A-L Gallet. That's a Gallet, I think. Um, yeah, that's about as much I can tell you there. Whatever gallop to me is in Russia. And that's a, a Armen, Armen's S. Oh no, no idea mate, so We've got no idea what the difference are no. between the biscuits. Anyway, they're quite, they're quite. So we've got, we've got a set of green ones and a set of blue ones. I have to add for the camera here, I can literally understand the Cyrillic <laughs> alphabet. If, if it's a Russian word that doesn't, isn't anglicised, I'm stuffed. Um, so these look to be like 10 or something. I imagine they could be a mince or sweet, by the feel of them. Most random Russian pills, so this yeah. could be Russian <laughs> pills. I've no idea what those are. Ah, <laughs> the funny thing is that's sugar. Yeah, sugar or something. Oh, it's got a. Oh, it's it's a drink. Perhaps. Is it sugar? Yeah, is it like, like an cherry, isotonic cherry drink che or something? More, it's far more likely actually. So I think actually I was wrong. Handy pictures. This will be your sugar. There we go. Yeah. Oh, actually, that's a soul bonnet. Is that salt? Soul, soul, it could be salt. Uh, yeah. That's a pepper. Yes. That's definitely, that definitely pepper, yes. It's American pepper. Yeah. Yeah. Now, my money is that is either on, it's either a disco biscuit or water purification <laughs> tablets. <laughs> Probably not. <laughs> Probably not the disco biscuit. biscuit. Okay. And it's a standard, fairly standard Puri tab. Um, Matches. matches, quite easy to tell matches, and quite again, nice, safety quite matches. Quite nice to give you a striker. Yeah. It might be like UK ones where they'll only light on that striker, and they won't light on a hard surface otherwise. That's a bit disappointing, isn't it? Yeah. But it's quite standard for military matches, I think. Right, Slip, slip in, whoa, that's an S-L-I-V-K. Towelette of some sort, is it? A wipe, be... a wipe, a handy wipe. <sighs> So it's incredibly embarrassed later. Sal salfetka, whatever salfetka is. Well, that might actually be a moist towelette. God knows what that is. There's several of those lovely right. salfettas. Okay, so, so we get one yeah. per, so I'd imagine that's one per meal then. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, let's get through some of these ancillaries first. So, we'll okay. Um, 
Okay, this is some sort of apple puree, I would imagine. Yep. Just purely by the look of it. Apple sauce no, and the ten it's got pronounced picture that. of apples on it. Yeah. And it's quite squidgy and feels quite moist inside. So yeah, we're going for apple puree on that one. This is a mystery to me. <laughs> mystery stuff. It literally is a mystery. I can't even see a label on this to try and decode. Cutter. <laughs> random Russian. Cutter... No. Random Russian powder. Again, if you can uh, yeah. identify this before we can, put it in the comments. Sugar, maybe. Sugar. Do you sugar. sugar? It could be sugar. Yeah, this, this is embarrassing. Quite a lot of sugar. Again, sorry to any native. Uh, I can say that's coffee. I'll tell you that for a start. <laughs> So you love that little F, that, that, that F character, the little circle. Is that an stick. F? Yeah, it's an F. Um, again, that appears to be some sort of chewing gum or a tablet of some sort, but I don't know what. Russian pills? Yeah. Salon? Oh, it's elephant salon. Um, salon tea. tea. Yes, it's, it's tea. It's with an elephant on tea it. Tea bag. It's, it probably says something type of elephant. So we get brand. two types of tea bags. Well, I, I learnt a word, Tom. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, but it's elephant tea or something. Yeah. Again, sorry for it, hideously. You'll we'll never forget that, will you? Getting this hideously wrong. Yeah. Ah. Gill tabs. Yes, that's cooking. Yeah, it's a little mini cooker and Oh, yeah, a little tabs. cooker with yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, fold down cooker and tabs. I feel like the, the French give you a little yeah. bit style stove. Right. I'm going to get to the all this exciting stuff in a minute, mate. Right, that is clearly a chocolate bar. Yeah. So let's not even pretend to try and tr translate that. Yeah. Oh, more cherry drink. More cherry drink. Uh, is that a different? That's peach. Peach is it? Oh, that's a yeah. peach. Look, it is. Yeah, you're right. I should know that. Ah, and that looks like what I believe is like a blackberry or something, blackberry, a raspberry. Blackberry, raspberry. Uh, so we've got three. And going by the Callum, Callum alone, Dust Monkey uh, bailed out and didn't eat his random Russian no? his random Russian pills on screen. So we might have to uh, <laughs> have to try and one up him slightly. What is this menu with cyanide pill? <laughs> <laughs> that, well. <laughs> we'll go viral. <laughs> <laughs> UK idiots die in Russian back <laughs> challenge. Yep. Uh, that's some sort of pate, I just said. Yep. Look at a picture there. So, meat. And again, that's very much the same sort of thing by the look of it. Some sort of apple dessert by the look of things. Maybe a yogurt, I don't know. I've definitely got apples on it. I wonder what the difference is between that and that. Because we've got this apple, apple sachet. Is there, any, is there any continuity in the words? Sorry, I mean, we're being real peasants here. Ragey, ragey something, I don't know. Of, of, yeah, it's again. Going by that, some sort of vegetable compote thing. Yeah. But again, could probably get that completely wrong. And anyway, then we're going to heat, heat all these up and find out. Then the mains. Oh, it's potatoes, I think that. It, it might be something with potatoes. Okay. That's with, uh, I think that's K A R T O F E L E M. Yeah. Well, we've got three of these and three, uh, three big ones. Be wrong on that though, but uh, again, I'll, I'll be guessing, mate. <laughs> no idea. There's big lumps of something in there. Frickad, frickalad. Oh, we got a treat coming up, haven't we? With gov, gov, No, no idea. Sorry. <laughs> I think this is the. So it's concentrated, whatever it is. I think I've got an idea, <laughs> got an idea what this is. I think. I think this might be the extra fat. Okay. Like, there's like a tin of extra. Nice. We literally are in the dark, right. aren't we? Right, so, <laughs> where, what should we have for breakfast? <laughs> should we guess what might be breakfast? What should we have for breakfast? <laughs> should, we have, should we stick with crackers right. and jam, as we Crack usually crackers. do? And a bit of coffee. We're going to have an almost continental breakfast. Well, we hope. Of some stuff. <laughs> some more stuff. Some, some, some fruit stuff, we hope. And some more. So we think two pâtés and, yeah. and a fruit sauce. I want to know what that is, Tom. Can we open that? Ooh. It's wrong. Ooh. What? I think you might be right. Just being fat, Tom. Yeah. Is that fat or is it fish? I think it's extra fat. I don't know. You know. It could just be fat. Yeah. No, it's just fat. Yeah. Well, it's, you know, kind of savoury, savoury fat. Yeah. It's quite. It's, it's a bit of a thing. So you can add it to the some of the extra meals. Yeah. 100 grams of that. So yeah. that's 900, 800, 900 calories. Pretty energy dense if you really need it. And let's get cracking. Hey, so first taste of the. Uh, so ran rat rat. random, random black dark berry. Not bad. 
Yeah. We'll attempt to uh, attempt to find some trans actual translation. Actually sealed. Oh yeah, look, that's definitely some sort of like. Yeah, and slight, similar but slightly different. Uh, before we tuck in, we'll have blue, and I'll yeah. have green. No, I again, we've got no idea what. The dog's now looking quite interested because there's meat paste and fat yeah. on the table. I thought Oscar might well get partake at some point. He has uh, applied for a job as a ration tester. He did say in his application he feels that there aren't enough dogs on YouTube. <laughs> there's not enough dogs on YouTube? Yeah. I don't know what he's been watching. <laughs> right, that one's really hard to spread, so I think that, again, that might be best eaten as some sort of sausage. Try a bit. This one's a bit more. Yeah, this one's a bit more spready. Try a bit of the biscuit without anything on it. They're just like a plain cracker. They're not bad. They're not. They're not outstanding. They're not bad. Well, the crackers are better than the German ones for a start. These, these are fairly plain. There's nothing special about them. Is there a taste to yours? They're more mine of whole milk, oaty yeah. kind of. They're more oaty. These are more wheaty sort of thing. Mm, yeah, it does appear to be the only real discernible difference. I'm going to try a bit of this fat on a biscuit in the interest of science. You risk it for a biscuit. I'm going to risk it for a biscuit. Yeah, it's more like a reformed sausage or. Mm. You know those like little teddy bears you get on the deli counter at supermarkets? Yeah, yeah, yeah. They were reformed ham and stuff. It's very 70s, isn't it? It's a bit like that. <laughs> so they're both okay. I think the, the German one's better. Mm, better quality meat. Yep. But the biscuits are better, yeah. Okay. So you win some, you lose some. Those pâtés are fine. I'd be quite happy with those. Yep. Let's give. Good look at this. But I reckon this is just some form of fat, lard, something along those lines. And we'll have our delicious apple sauce. Yeah. Let's give or, it a go. Or whatever. Probably, this is probably meant to be dessert, guys. Yeah, quite likely. They're probably, probably being, a yogurt or something like that. Probably being utterly. Yeah, we're probably being utterly wrong. And I've got pate in it now as well. Yeah. So. Oh. Okay, so this is like apple sauce. Oh, thing. do you know what I think that is? What's this? Right, I, I could be wrong, but the, the traditionally in the Russian army there's like a stewed fruit kind of dessert thing. Okay. Um, I think it's called compote or something like that. Could be wrong, but I remember reading about it. It's like stewed fruit. Yeah, it, it's traditionally like the evening meal of the... Oh, we got that completely wrong. Oh, it's alright, that. Yeah. Oh, I could eat that. You know, I've read about this, I've never tried it. Right. It's actually quite an eye-opener. That's the best bit so far. Yeah. It's a bit like baby food, isn't it? <laughs> but you get those, um, British Army now do those mm. fruit shoots, don't yeah. they? Yeah. Actually, that's really good. Uh, should we save that till later and have it after the main meals? So we've got this mystery vitamin pill. Do you feel in the need for vitamins, Tom? And we've got mystery Russian pills here. All right, so if I, um, if I die... Yeah, I'll try one too. Suicide pact. Chewing gum. Slightly disappointed now. Sorry guys, both my phones are currently attached to a <laughs> tripod, so you're going to have to wait till we finish the, finish the filming to mm. call an ambulance. We've decided, because we're complete chickens, we're going to open all of our little foil trays up and attempt to have a vague workout what they are before yeah, we... Uh... Just so we don't get custard and beef or something like that. <laughs> it's really a bit strange. So, uh, let's have a look. Let's do the first one. Okay. They're sealed down quite heavily, aren't they? Some sort of so, sort of meatballs and some sort of stew. And stew. Yeah, that's pretty good. Okay, that's a that's one candidate. Okay, my my guess there uh, had potatoes involved. So see if I'm wrong or not. Yeah, I was right. <laughs> so we got like a potato and meat stew salady thing. That looks pretty good. Yeah. And lastly, and lastly, for the big ones, this could be even an evening meal. Or oh, there's a lot of fat in that. It's like a bottle of meat porridge. Is that tomatoes or something? It's like, it looks like a little little vegetable mix. Yeah. Little vegetable medley thing. So that will go quite nicely with, with one of the other ones. And lastly. I have no idea what this is. That oh cheese! Cheese. Right, let's get them crackers out. So we've got uh the two main meals, or well, the two meals we we picked out. For lunch, which is meatballs in a tomatoey type gravy sort of thing, gravy yeah. stew. So let's show the people. Here we go. This looks and smells pretty good. Quite a lot of fat on these, but I think that's fairly not fairly consistent. With if it's not enough fat, you can always add some more. Yeah, <laughs> some more with yeah. a fat ration. So I'll pass that gadget gadget yeah. away. And then this is the. I think it's some sort of buckwheat, buckwheat or potato porridge or something. Oscar, Oscar, <laughs> on your bed. Sorry, we've got the uh, we've got the AATV dog here. 
who's uh, apparently really likes Russian rations. He's absolutely desperate for some. So we might give him some when, when we finish. And see what his reaction and is. do an Oscars ration test review. So there we go. So I, I've, I've had this stuff before and I really like it. Okay. So I'm quite looking forward to that. So, so should so, yeah, we uh, mix up a drink before we start? Or? So we'll mix up a drink. We're going to have peach. And I'm gonna, we're going to try the coffee as well. Get the coffee up, yeah? No, you can indeed, so, yeah. Great. So... The one thing in the ration pack I could actually read the, uh, <laughs> the menu on. Now, one thing we did notice, there doesn't appear to be any obvious creamer or milk, but we think we might have found it. It might be this stuff. Oh, I might be completely wrong. So, so I'll, I'll put some out of the plate before I decide yeah, to... Yeah, think uh, of it on the end of there or something for us, <laughs> and then just... That looks suspiciously like a creamer to me. Oh, you know, I'm getting flashbacks to the German coffee there. <laughs> Does it taste of yeah. burnt? Oh, I've not tasted it yet, but the smell... Well, let's let's try... Try the food. Let's try the food. Mm. Okay. That's great. I'll be honest with you here. Mm -hmm. Have you ever had those tinder beef burgers? Yep. It's a bit like those. Oh, I really like this stuff. In fact, that is exactly like a meatball version of tinder beef burgers. If you compare it to, say, the sausage in the German ration pack... Yeah, they were proper sausages, weren't yeah. they? Or was it the Sorry. the other ration pack we had which had a really nice quality of meat in it? The French, the French mm. one had really good meat in it. It was a French one I was thinking of, yes. Try that, Tom. Okay, have a Swap switch. over. I think you've uh, definitely got the better, better option there. If my eyes were closed, I'd say it was tinned hamburger from Aldi or something. Not knocking Aldi in any way, though, so, but you know what I mean, that sort of thing. It's perfectly edible, though, isn't it? Mm. I'm feeling that might be your breakfast meal. Could well be. That's yeah. savoury. It's a bit lighter, isn't it? Savoury barbecue porridge. We'll swap back over. Yeah. We can always save a bit for Oscar Dog. I'm going to let Oscar have a bit of this as well, yeah. So we'll have one more of these meatballs. Well, let's get some peach drink ready. Yeah. Just in case it is. So we try it black and then put some whitener in if it's. Uh... Yeah. All right, I'm going in. Here's the drink's nicer. Here's the coffee. Pretty standard. Yeah, it's like that slightly burnt smell. Not really taste anything. I'm assuming this is coffee white now. If it's not, this is going to be not, a, this is going to be a terrible <laughs> mistake. But it's dissolved in and it's yeah, gone. It's coffee gone, greeny. It's gone green. And then let's uh, <laughs> let's have one of one of what we thought was the sugar. Will that do? Say say when. Yep. Well, it tastes like cheap coffee with whitener and sugar in it. Yeah, that's vending machine tastic, isn't it? <laughs> a fairly substantially solid baker like yeah, bar of chocolate. There you go. Let's probably make AK magazines out of this. That's good. Nice though. That's nice coffee. Mm. Nice chocolate. That is hands down better than the German chocolate. Yeah, that's much better. That's just really good actually. Right, round three. Um, what we're calling dinner, but we're not yeah. really sure. So we've got a kind of potato, uh, vegetable ragu of some sort. It's very rich smelling. Smells really good actually. Yeah. And hold that over. It's very hot. That's some sort of meat and potato meat stew. Meat and potato stew. All right. So beef and potato stew, or something like actually more like lamb by the look of it. Did you remember in the past when we looked at ration packs, and some of them have been almost universally, globally the same? Yeah. This tastes like the meat and potato stew we've had <laughs> in German <laughs> ones and British like ones and classic everywhere. It's like they've got. Do you know what? It, it, oh look. Oh, oh, oh no. no! We've got a spare. Okay, we've got a spare elephant tea bag. I got overexcited with my knife and slit through the uh, tea bag. Tea bag. Very, very standard, tasty, ration packed stew. Okay, have we got on the tomato then? While you're here. Yeah. While you tidy up. And I uh, tidy up my mess. <laughs> I think I managed to avoid it just about. Tea bag on a string, which is not something you get a lot of in Britain, but you get true. a lot of in, in the continent. Yeah, that's a bit better than normal. Squaddy meat and potatoes. Yeah, it's alright, isn't it? Yeah. I reckon if we bung them together and then the compote. Add the two together. A bit nicer. Yep. Second favourite main meal, that. Yeah, it's good. It's better, definitely. Mm. Improves it. Improves with a bit of vegetable. I'm going to put a bit of sugar in this tea, Tom, if that's right with you. Mm -hmm. Or do you want to have it without first? No, go for it. Feels to me a bit more practical than a lot of other ration packs. So it seems to be stuff that you could actually eat. As an actual combat meal, rather than to let's, yeah, yeah. Let's, let's, not, let's not try and simulate breakfast, evening meal, and this is very social. much what the French do. Yeah, the French one is very, very much three distinct meals, and they're set up like three distinct meals. This is yeah, this feels this feels more like something to soldier on, and it's quite a practical. 
Like, you know, you'd hate to be really knackered, go in your ration pack and go, oh, I've only got chocolate pudding left. Whereas knowing you've actually got a third meat meal. You've watched our German one, you'll know what we're on about. That's quite a nice tea, that. That's quite good. Try that. I quite enjoy that. I don't know if you like tea black, I don't mind black tea, but it's one of the nicer ration pack teas I've ever had. I mean, the, the British ration pack tea is appalling. The well, German one wasn't very nice. Thai food, but you get yeah. very standard British. But that is actually really quite nice tea. Which flavour is this again, Tom? Is this cherry? This is cherry. Cherry drink for you. Thank you very much. I haven't got a bit of pudding to have. You know the sort of cherry taste you get off a cherry bakewell, as opposed to yeah. actually eating a cherry? Yeah, it's very chemical cherry. Yeah. yeah. So um, we've got the cheese left, I think. Oh, we've as got well. cheese. We'll have so let's a, get a biscuit out for the. Let's, uh, have some, let's have a cheese course. Have we got any biscuits? Yeah, we've got some open? biscuits left. I like that. Mmm. Mm, nice. What is it, my milk? Reminds me of a stronger version of Dairy Triangles. Yeah, that smoked cheese and that sausage shape with the oh yeah the brown wrapper. Yeah, yeah. That smoky processed cheese mm. you used to get. Reminds me of that. Do you know what, on this particular type of cracker, it's really tasty. It's very strong, but... Mm. Again, it's nicer than some Russian cheese. I think the German pepper cheese is nice. It's got more of a character to it. Yeah, this is actually a little bit more cheesy. Do you know what, though? I, I think, given the, and again, we're slightly stereotypical here, given the Western perception that Russian things aren't that hot, I think that's actually really good. I think it's, I think it's good, certainly in terms of, yeah. there's nothing there that was absolutely disgusting. I'd have eaten it. If I'd have been now exercising, I'd have eaten any of those three. Or even going and camping, I'd be happy with I'd, that. As a, I'd have eaten yeah. any of those three meals quite happily, yeah. with the three main, the buckwheat, the meatballs, or the um, potato and... And everything's easy to eat, sort of not on the move as such, but you can imagine just opening the corner of that and tucking in with a spoon, cold or hot. Yeah. There's none of that, let's pretend we're having breakfast at a table nonsense. It's yep. just, here's a big pot of meat and potatoes, here's your apple puree, here's your cheese. Yeah, make it up. You you know. some, you've got some stuff for a quick snack if you need to if you need to eat. You know, we're not all going to have dessert after evening meal. It's literally, this is what you need to fight on. I, I think, think it's I pretty think, good. I think the fat's really interesting. Obviously, it's not our culture. I think it's a really interesting. I think that and the that and the little vegetable compote thing. I think are really interesting additions yeah. because you could chuck those into anything. I think the fact, especially in colder climates, yeah, you probably really, really need that. Really, you know, the extra calories. And you can you can I can imagine you, you, you kind of cut out bits and put and just put it in with with your meals when you yeah. when you're cooking in it and it spreads through. And that's probably really quite nice. Um, I think it's, I think it's a really again. I'm not a soldier. Have never been mm -hmm. a soldier. Um, I think for me that's a really solid. In terms of actually moving and using and fighting with food, yeah, I mean, I, I from my limited experience of you know um, reserve soldiering and twenty four hour Milson weekenders, I would not be unhappy with yeah. that as my food. The only thing I would like day. to see is maybe a few more um, hot drinks, a few more drinks, and then also some kind of sundries, so some nuts or some yeah. Food. There's no like, mixed fruit or anything. Yeah, like kind that, of, is just yeah. kind of marching food stuff mm. to just. Not yeah. on as your nibblers. Nibblers yeah. as you're just moving along. You got you know you got yourself five minutes and you just fancy just I'll just have a quick no, sweet I, I or can, sweet. I or can a, see that. So yeah. that's the only thing I would maybe add to, if I was to buy one of these <clears throat> and use it for an for an exercise or something. Maybe go get some cereal bars or something just to have just have a long sweet. My overview on this would be the individual components. None of them run palatable. No, it's, um, no, it's, it's really the solid. weakest thing has got to be the meatballs. That was fine. It was, it was all right, it was but it, it, yeah. to say that yeah. was the weakest yeah. is actually a testament to how yeah. good everything in, else in was. In terms of in terms of um, culinary culinary delights, it was weakest. But actually, in terms of food you can eat, it, yeah. it was pretty good. Um, and just didn't just wasn't as nice as the other two. The, the, so the biscuits nice. were probably one of the better biscuits I've had in a ration pack to date. Yep. Yeah. Uh, the better than the German ones, softer to eat than the British ones. Yeah. Um, I think. I think this is a solid what eight out of ten. Easy. And then if you added, if you added a couple of little bits of your own, your own brew kit or something your, like your that. Your own brew kit, you think yeah. you'd be absolutely sound. You'd be absolutely fine. I mean, I give it eight out of ten for that chocolate bar alone. <laughs> <honest. Chocolate. laughs> so certainly an airsoft, certainly for airsoft, airsoft skirmishing and airsoft, not even skirmishing, airsoft milsim battle sim, or going mm -hmm. hiking. I think that's a pretty, that's a pretty solid. And also, it packs down well. You can separate, yeah. you can separate the stuff out, and, pack and it's it. well sealed. I mean, those foil packets, they're, they're not going to split and break apart. You have to have a knife on them. Yeah, you know. Cool. So we're going to sign off now. Don't go away because we're going to do the Oscar dog taste test with what we've got left. And you can see what a, a big awesome greyhound thinks of a Russian Russian pack. I've been Tom Anvil Hibbard. I've been Gadge Harvey. See you next time and watch out for Oscar coming up soon.
Okay, here we are with Oscar Dog in the studio. Say hello to everyone, Oscar. Yeah, he's a good boy. And Oscar Dog, wait, wait, wait. Okay, good boy. Go on. Go on. Well, we've gone straight for the processed meat pate stuff. And we appear to like the uh, potato stew. And that's the other, <coughs> that's the pate gone. Currently going through the meatballs. Meatballs next, gash in order. So we've gone pate, meatballs. He's licking the tomato sauce off the meatballs first. It's, very, it's quite refined. Very thing to do. It's quite refined, is Oscar. <laughs> We're going. Nothing. Nothing. Uh, nothing stopping him so far. He's not turned his nose up to anything yet. Though. No, he's done the whole lot. He does like the odd bit of tomato-based uh, stew, though. Does Oscar Dog? So. We do actually feed Oscar normally. Um, <laughs> but he's been hanging out with us for the last hour or so. So we figure he deserved a. Uh, that's the last meatball gone. There you go, so barky so good, he gets a Russian job. So then, he's, then he's going for the buckwheat. And the, so the buckwheat is his least favourite, but he's not stopping eating it. It may just have been because it was furthest away. <laughs> well, there you go. So Oscar Dog definitely approves of Russian ration pack. He's, he's not going to leave any scrap. So chase that bowl across the floor. Good boy, Oscar.